blue We gotta stick together cause I know we'll pull through There aren't many differences between me and you These differences are nominal just like the green and blue Green and blue What it is YouTube, it's your boy 202 coming at y'all with another Phantom Dust Arsenal bill on Friday. So this Arsenal bill I'm going to be giving y'all today is, like I say to all, about all of my Arsenal bills, this is an extremely powerful Arsenal build. It's, a, it's one that I really don't use a lot though, because this Arsenal build, personally, it's an extremely powerful Arsenal build. But it's kind of cheap and it's kind of a spam type arsenal. So me, I play Phantom Dust, you know, to have fun. And like if I'm playing to win or whatever, if I'm trying to win or gain rank at the moment, I do play this arsenal build. But when I'm trying to have fun, I don't really play it because it's an extremely powerful arsenal build. But it's kind of redundant. It's kind of, you do the same thing over and over again. So let's get into this arsenal. All right, now this Arsenal bill I'm going to be giving y'all today, if you don't already see it, it's a Vibration Blaster Arsenal. So this Arsenal is based around getting your level to at least level 10. And a couple of the cards that that is supposed to get you to that level 10, this Arsenal is based around always trying to get to level 10. And what we're playing in this Arsenal, we're playing three of the card called Level Imp. What Level Imp do is a three cost skill, one time use, it increases your level to two. So, it, so you play three of these so it can help you get to your level 10 that you're trying to get to. And also in this Arsenal build, we're playing two of this skill. It's a skill called Level Boost. It's a seven cost skill, one time use, it what this skill does it, it doubles your level so like if you're level 10 you use this skill it'll make you to level 20 if you're level 20 you use this skill it'll make you to level 40 but it requires you to use a skill it requires you to be at least already level 10 so you have to be at least level 10 to use this skill it only costs seven to use but you have to be at least at level 10 to use it so like i was saying you get in this arsenal build you're trying to get to your level 10 so you can use your attack skills now the attack skills in this arsenal build i play vibration laser it's a one cost skill three strength and it works at long range it's a arc skill and it but it requires you to have level 10. so it's only a one cost skill so if you're at level 10 and let's say you're maxed out on your aura at level 10 you can use this skill 10 times and that'll be 30 damage if you hit them with all of it or, or however you want to do it and it's also at long range so you can be on the other side of the map and hit them with this skill and it's an extremely powerful skill and a lot of people spam this um skill which is kind of the reason why i don't like this arsenal that much but it's an extremely extremely powerful skill but it requires you to have level 10 and also in this arsenal we play vibration blaster it's a four cost skill six strength medium range and it requires you to have level 10 also so you know it's, it's getting to that level 10 and we also have photon burst for a close range attack skill so just in case they're running up on you it's a seven cost skill seven strength it's a mine, but it's not really a mine. It's like a close range attack. It explodes around yourself. So for the people who tries to psycho knife you to death or you know, flame sword you to death, you can use photon burst and it will knock them back so they won't hit you with that that psycho knife or that um that flame sword. It's a counter to those. And we also play two charged particles. What charged particle do is a three cost skill, four strength. Long range, it penetrates obstacles. So when you're all the way on the other side of the map, you can use charged particle and hit them from all the way across the map and it also penetrates obstacles. But this skill has a penalty for one level. So you have to have your, you have to be at, well, you don't have to be at, at level 10, but if you at level 20 or level 40 with your level boost, you can keep using the skill over and over again. But every time you use it, it's a penalty of one level. And I also play double lasers. It's, it's for my just in case at the beginning of the match. If I don't really have enough, if I'm not at level 10 yet, 
Um, this is just a two call skill, one strength. It does two if you hit them with both. It's a long range skill. Um, it's just my just in case skill, you know, just in case I don't have enough. If I'm not at level 10 yet, I can also use this skill. And also in this arsenal build, we're using Paralyzed Barrier, which is a four call skill, two defense, unlimited use. It's a barrier that the, um, the effect is the target can't move for three seconds. So if you block their attack, they'll be paralyzed for two for three seconds. They can still defend or still attack you, but they won't be able to move. And I also use Paralyze, which does the same thing as Paralyzed Barrier, except for it's an offense, it's a green. It's a four call skill, unlimited use, and it prevents the targets from moving for three seconds. Now when you use this, they can still use defense, they still can't use offense, but they just cannot move when you hit them with this. Now also in this arsenal, also in this arsenal, um, it's based around all of those skills. It's my attack skills and getting to level 10 or whatever. But we also have a backup in this arsenal build. And in this arsenal build, we use a skill called Restrain. Now, Restrain is a four-call skill, unlimited use. It reduces it reduces your target's level by one. But, your, but the penalty for this is, is a one level. So now, if you combo this skill with level boost, let's say you're at level, let's say you get to level 10, you use one of your level boosts, you get to level, I mean, as you use one of your level boosts, your level, um, your level 20, then once you hit level 20, you use your other level boost, your level 40. So now, your opponent's not going to really be at, like, level 20 or 30 or something like that. A normal, in a normal match, they'll be at, like, around level 10, level 12 at the most. So if you're at level 40, they're at level 10 or 12, you can keep hitting them with this restraint over and over again and reduce their level by one, reduce their level by one, reduce their level by one until they get all the way to level zero and they cannot do anything. So that is a backup to this arsenal build. And like I was saying, y'all, this is a very extremely powerful arsenal build that I that you kind of spam the vibration laser, you spam the charge particle. So it ain't really that fun, but it's a very extremely arsenal build. So let's get into some gameplay. All right, y'all. I typically use this map on highway because it's a um, it's a long range arsenal primarily because a lot of the skills are long range. So I typically play it on highway. Is for for the distance wise, so people just because highways is is the map that a lot of people spam lasers on, but you can use it on any other map. But I'm about to show y'all how it goes down. I just used two of my levels up, so right now I'm at level eight, and I need two more levels to use my vibration blasters. And he just hit me with this up, and now I'm at level ten, so I can use my vibration blaster if I need to. He's at level two right now. He might, no, he has two attacks in the defense. I, I was about to say he might have, um, well, that's a, he might have vicious balance, but he don't. But right now, I'm not gonna really use the photon burst or the vibration laster. I'm gonna use restraint, because I do have one of my restraints. Oh, he got me with a man. I do have one of my restraints. So I can hit him with that, put him down to level one, hit him again, put him down to level zero. So right now he can't really do anything until he gets some more ore. And I can go back. I can pick up my charge particle now. But charge particle, like I say, it penetrates obstacles. So I can hit him through the wall if he doesn't dodge it, which right now he's dodging it. But he cannot do anything right this very second. So I'm going to hit him with a photon burst. Because he only has... Oh, got him with the Photon Burst. He got me with a man. But I got him with the Photon Burst. I'm going to get him again right now while he's trapped. Oh, never mind. Got him again. Now I'm going to leave him alone for a little bit. And it, with me using the charge particle, it put me back down to level 8 so I cannot use my vibration blaster. And there go my other restraints. So for right now, I'm going to overwrite that restraint. And uh, I'm going to see if I can get another ore particle so I can go to the other side and hit them with a vibration blaster. Oh, you got me with a 
Now with Vibration Bastard, it's a long range skill, one cost. Now it's only one cost, but it does three damage. So I can sit over here and keep spamming Vibration Laser if it hit him. And it'll do three damage, three damage if I hit him. But I do not really hit him. Or, you know, I can use Charge Particle and it can hit him through the obstacles. It penetrates obstacles. So that's one way you can use it. I'm going to do a tag team so we can see how it works out with a tag team. All right, y'all. Like I said, it worked. This this um arsenal works very well on highway. That's why I'm showing it a lot on highway. But right now I'm at level four. I have my double lasers and a level amp. And like like I was saying, the reason why I use double lasers is so right at the beginning, off the bat, I have something to use while I'm waiting to get to level ten. And right now he's trying. To I'm at level seven. I have one of my restraints. And I could just sit here and just use lasers, which is kind of the reason why I don't really like this arsenal build a lot. Because it's kind of just spamming lasers the whole time, which isn't that fun. But, you know, anything to get the job done. If you're playing to win, this is what you do can do this, but I don't really find that much enjoyment in doing it. But right now he's hiding and I'm going to override my paralyze. I'm gonna hit this guy while he's trying to go up and get my teammate. You have to realize I'm still at level eight, so I really can't do what I want to do just yet. Because once I get to level ten I'll be able to use my level to become level 20. And now I'm level 10. I can pick up level boost and I'm level 20. And I also have restraint. So this guy's at level 3. The other guy's at level 8. I'm not going to really use that right now. Well, I might. I'm going to use my Vibration Blaster. Maybe. Oh, no, I got a Charge Particle. I'm going to use my Charge Particle to hit this guy because he keeps hiding behind the stuff. Well, he just fell off. He keeps hiding behind using the deep... Oh, he fell off. No, he didn't. Oh, I think he's coming for me. No, I got him. You see how it penetrates through obstacles? You can hit him through the ground, hit him through the walls. Or whatever. Which makes this skill very powerful. And that's it. Alright y'all. That was the Vibration Arsenal build. Like I was saying. It works very very effectively on Highway. You can use it on Palace. Or on other maps like Sin. For those of y'all who like the map Sin. It is, it's more of a long range type arsenal. Um. It's a very, very powerful arsenal build, but I really, like I was saying, I really don't like using it because it's basically just spamming lasers from across the map, which really isn't that fun for you or the person you're playing against. But of course, counters for that are people who use erase counters. For people who use erase defenses or erase arsenal builds, that is this arsenal build's counter. Like, because I don't, in my version, I don't really play orb or nothing like that in my version. So if they're playing erase defenses or something, stuff like that they can erase your vibration laser erase your vibration laser and all your other stuff your charge part of cool they can re erase all of that so that's a counter to that arsenal build but other than that it's an extremely power powerful arsenal build i hope y'all think it was very helpful y'all if y'all think this arsenal build is dope leave it a, leave a comment in the <laughs> leave a comment in the comments below what y'all think about this arsenal build let me know if there's another way you can use it or combo it with or do something else with it let me know in the comments below if y'all think this arsenal build was very helpful go ahead and hit that like button if you didn't like the um arsenal build hit that dislike button yeah y'all and if you have not already go ahead and hit that subscribe button i do be coming out with these arsenal builds every friday for y'all convenience you know to hook y'all up help y'all out a little bit with y'all bills it's been your boy 202 i'll holla at you until the next time Ice. Sleep on satin.
homies always telling me just keep on rapping. I'm a blood of up while you sleep on napping. What the fuck you want me to say? These things happen.